I am Dr. Rosebud Roberts, an Associate Professor of Epidemiology at the Mayo Clinic, and I'm here to talk about our study conducted among participants in the Mayo Clinic study of aging. Our study findings showed an association between intake of polyunsaturated fatty acids and mild cognitive impairment, which is a transitional stage between normal cognitive aging and dementia. We found that the prevalence odds ratio of mild cognitive impairment decreased with increasing intake of polyunsaturated fatty acids. When we compared subjects who had the lowest intake of polyunsaturated fatty acids to those with higher intakes, we found that those who had the intake in the middle third had a 32% reduced risk of mild cognitive impairment, and those who had intake in the highest third had a 58% reduced risk of mild cognitive impairment. That's compared to those with the lowest intake. When we took into account other factors that are associated with cognitive functions, such as exercise, body mass index, dyslipidemia, that's body lipids, we found that the association persisted. We also found that the association persisted when we looked at specific components of polyunsaturated fatty acids, that's the omega-3 fatty acids and the omega-6 fatty acids. Our findings generate a hypothesis that intake of polyunsaturated fatty acid may have a role in reducing the risk of cognitive impairment and ultimately of dementia. Our study subjects were participants in the Mayo Clinic study of aging. These residents were aged 70 to 89 years on October 1, 2004, when we established the cohort. And the studies founded by the National Institute on Aging. We assessed cognitive function in our study participants. We then mailed them a questionnaire that assessed their dietary intake. We asked them to report their intake of foods in detail over the previous year. We then examined the association between intake of polyunsaturated fatty acids and other types of fatty acids and cognitive impairment. One of the limitations of our study is the fact that we assessed both cognitive function and intake of fatty acids at the same point in time. It makes it difficult to determine the temporal order which came first. Did people modify their diet because they sensed there was, they had a problem with their cognitive function? Or did people develop impairment in cognitive function because of their poor diet? Our next step in the study, therefore, is to restrict the study to subjects who were cognitively normal at the time we enrolled them to the study. That is, they did not have cognitive impairment. We will follow them longitudinally over time and determine whether those who had a high intake of polyunsaturated fatty acids at the time of enrollment have a reduced risk of mild cognitive impairment during follow-up. That's if our longitudinal findings are consistent with our cross-sectional findings, it will provide us with evidence or more definitive evidence that polyunsaturated fatty acids are beneficial for reducing the risk of mild cognitive impairment and will have important implications for also reducing the risk of dementia.